It's the Yetsunday Vlog! Hi and welcome to Yetsunday Vlogs. My name is Yetsunday. So, like I said, I was going to do a part two of the types of Lagos guys. I'm now on number seven. Number seven is the Desperado. Yes, like, Desperado is an international thing. There are different kinds of guys that are, you know, different kinds of guys in different countries that are desperate for a lady. Likewise, for women that are desperate for men. I think they call them thirsty in America. They call them thirsty around the world. But um, yes, the one that is like, please now, just grief on me. I would, as in, like, as in, I'll be a great, I'll make a great husband. I'll be, I'll be fantastic. You love me. Just, just please, just, I'm begging you. That's the number eight, which is a bit of a contrast to the desperate guy, is the cool guy, the suave guy, the chilled out guy, the not, I don't have anything bad to say about this kind of guy because he's just too cool. And yeah, there are some Lagos guys that are very, very cool, and very chilled, like there's no wahala, which means there's no problem. Everything is just easy. Number nine is the shy guy the kind of guy that doesn't know how to get your number kind of guy or whether to approach you and sometimes I find that because some of the girls here in Lagos are quite harsh that you know a guy can approach a girl and she'll be like ah, can I help you why are you talking to me I have no business talking to you that kind of thing so guys do have it hard here as well so you can't blame some guys for being a bit shy and a bit you know reserved when it comes to trying to approach a girl and I think it's hard in any sense of the word but Nigerian women are very strong kind of women, very straightforward. So number 10 yes. is the passport finder. The one that when he saw you, maybe he wasn't too interested, but then he heard your accent and you're from America. Ah, so you're from America. You know, I tried to get a visa there and they denied me. I don't know why. You know, I'm a doctor, I don't understand. Maybe, you know, I can take you out for some dinner and maybe the one that he sees the potential in what you have and wants to join you in that potential. Number 11 is the gold digger. It's not only women that can gold dig, men do gold dig as well. But I'm liking this kind of gold digging to whereas you might go, go out for dinner with someone and he's a cool person, you both seem quite cool. You're talking about your careers. He's telling you that, you know, he's working as a junior, maybe in a junior position in a law firm. And then you're telling him that, you know, currently you're just in between jobs, which could mean that you just left a really good job and you, you want to start on your own or you, I don't know, but you're in between jobs. So right now, you know, you're, on a tight budget and whatever. And all you hear is him saying, please, check please. And it's funny because there are guys that, it's, it's no, which isn't wrong, maybe you don't want to date a girl that you have to start from the bottom with. But, you know, just like, why is it normally women that are seen badly if they don't want to start from the bottom of a guy? Just saying, but I'm just saying that it happens with girls who don't want a girl that they are, that isn't doing that well, so. And number 12 is the complete guy, the dream guy, the, makes your heart beat kind of guy which anyone can meet anywhere in the world but you know you can also meet them here in lagos so me talking about the different kinds of lagos guys doesn't mean that i'm bashing guys at all at all there are really amazing guys here as well i just wanted to share that with you guys i put the list together with my phone saying i thought it'd be be fun to kind of share it with you guys and i hope you guys liked it if you liked comment subscribe and I'm always happy to read your comments, but yes, I'll see you guys next week Monday. Bye.